world of YouTube, Archie here, doing another covering story. I already did the uh, <clears throat> newspaper clipping, but now I'm going to do the actual footage. Of course, back in 1954, there was a three alarm, a fire that they called the Manning Firestorm. And I don't know how many buildings back there got affected by it, but I know this building here did not even exist back in 1954. And I assume that it must have had to have went all the way down to where you can see that massive block wall is, which is, I think, now parking. So, I mean, from here down would have been the factory. I will put the name of the uh, factory that was in this building at the time, which I forget it now because I had been off a little bit and haven't been able to do what I wanted to do lately, do so some interruptions and aggravations. <clears throat> but back in 1954, this area was engulfed with black smoke, three alarm of fire and several houses in the back, which I might do a uh, drive-through back there later on for another video, just to give an insight on what it looks like around here. But that's what we were dealing with back then. 17 injured, but the firemen back in the day got it maintained, and it was a, uh, you could so say, awesome, <clears throat> um, awesome job done by the fire department back then. I mean, we also are near the Manusnock Brook. A little heritage over there with the, I wonder if that's a plaque over there. I'm gonna take a walk over there real quick, but other than that, yep, back in 1954, that's what was going on here in Manning Ave. There was a uh, firefighter that Oh, was it that story? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This also story leads to uh, the Gardner fire of a factory. And uh, that happened around that time. Like, so say, so many years before. Let's see what this plaque says. I don't know if this is... And uh, just the menu stock brook. Storm water, runoff from rain, melted snow. Huh. So they used this brook, which was probably lived by around with Indians, of course. Which a lot of Indians lived throughout this town. Oh, wow, you got these all these little animals, I guess, and turtles that live in this. And I guess this brook now is used to write storm drains, water, any extra things around here floating around with of a melted snow. But I can just you can just imagine what it was like back in 1954 with this whole building. That, yep, that's what it is down there. Get a better view. I'm sure that building and that wall there is what used to form the rest of the building. But you can just imagine what it was like having that thing and then it was an unexplained fire mind you and like I said before there was a fire in Gardner in a factory unexplained and they both happened around the same time uh, and that's what brought back up the article I guess was the fire in Gardner <clears throat> that happened that sparked the flames for this fire and this and that was a strange thing about it. What it was unexplained. So what would have uh, made that happen and just spark up like that? I mean, you could think of squatters back in the day, keeping warm in the building. But this building was an actual ran building. So that leads me to say, what else was around here at the time before these buildings were built? And that uh, factory here was built, I believe, in the 1800s. Oh no, was it the 1930s? Probably 1932 or something. But it, 
whatever it was though, I mean, it's still un undetermined what caused the fire. Especially being, now that's the thing, you, you might have, maybe, you could have had some strange arsonists around them times. You know, there's a lot of people out there that like to do crazy things. Just for the simple mere fact. Just to be known as something, or something in general to that. But to be that many years apart, and then it happened around the same time, still questionable about what really caused the fire. Would be insane if something came up, though, that it was the same arsonist or someone that just didn't like somebody or happened to notice that someone lived in that area of Gardner or as a family member came here for a job and was just after him or all kinds of crazy thoughts and theories, but still unknown to this day so I mean <laughs> that being said I just wanted to give a visual of this the Manning storm fire storm which I'm gonna like I said I'm, I, I don't know if the uh, business that ran here if that was had something to do with it but I'm definitely I mean, what I can find in this article, if I look up on archives and, and newspapers and stuff, to even see if there was anything updated, there's nothing on this story. And I got lucky to get this story from a newspaper from the 90s that I've been, I just finished up today, last, yeah, today, mind you, <laughs> going through articles of articles of all kinds of crazy stuff that's happened and that has occurred throughout time, so more sections of that to come once again as you can see there's the Manning Avenue sign indicating where we are and I know that building over there is still uh, probably maybe another structure of it of the original or was separated but still that so shows how far that building went but literally gone now they didn't show much of the building, though. I don't know if the Lemerson Historical Society has anything about that on pictures, or let alone what the building looked like. But, like I said, looking more stuff about it on the Internet is not even out there. So, if you lived it here at that time and even knew about it, that's the only way you'd ever know or even remember what the building looked like. So, yeah. Other than that, world of YouTube, more to come. Just very little time to bring it trying to bang out what I can now due to the fact that I got some huge personal problems going on so bear with me until then be safe take care and there's a siren already watch out for them fires and stuff you never know when they'll happen very very strange world we live in till then out